Hi everyone, in this video, I will tell you about the life cycle assessment of wooden pencil. Firstly, I will talk about the what is wooden pencil. Secondly, I will talk about the life cycle of wooden pencil, then the impact of wooden pencil to environment, and lastly, the conclusion. Do you know what is wooden pencil? So, let's check it out. Actually, wooden pencil can bring us to our childhood. Wooden pencil are the most thing that we almost use in every day for writing and drawing. Early, red cheddar from the Kenya and US is the favorite one. But today, most of the wooden pencil are made from incense cheddar. What are material used for wooden pencil? So, firstly, is graphite holy. Secondly, is wood, metals and rubber as a eraser. So now we move to the shape of pencil. They have four shapes of wooden pencil, which is hexagon, triangle, rectangle, and also a circle. This is the type of wooden pencil. They have about 20 type of wooden pencil. So did you know in Malaysia, they have 65 feet high of the world largest pencil. Kestan has displayed the largest pencil that manufactured near to Kuala Lumpur, which made by Malaysia wood and polymer. Now, we move to the next topic, which is the life cycle of wooden pencil. Life cycle is to see the process on how it is made and used. First stage is the raw material extraction. The most important ingredient in a pencil is the graphite. Most people continue to call it lead. The wood used to manufacture pencil must be able to withstand repeated sharpening and cut easily without splitting the ring. Next is manufacturing process. The graphite is mixed with clay according to the type of pencil being made. The more graphite used, the softer the pencil and the darker its line. Transportation where the trucker holds pencil to warehouse or railroad and also trucker holds pencil to retail store. Then for utilization reuse, customer will try to store to buy the pencil and use, then will discard the pencil. For disposal recycling, pencil eventually discard and pencil hold to landfill or incinerator. They have 5 steps to making a wooden pencil. Firstly, you need to slat form. Second, slat growth. Third, graphite with insect. And then sandwich the form, then cut the pencil. So now, we will see the impact of wooden pencil to environment. Every product has the impact to environment. Firstly, the raw material consumption. Wooden pencil use more raw material than the plastic pencils and two times more materials of recycled paper materials. Next is water consumption, where the wood case consume about 10% of the water. Then, solid waste. Wooden pencil generate more solid waste and become various recycled product. Atmospheric emission. Wooden pencil are emit less gas than plastic pencil for carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and particulate matter. So what we can conclude, wooden pencil has pros and cons. Maybe we can move from wooden pencil to paper pencil. Recycled paper pencil is widely available at stationery. It is promoted by government for benefit to environment. Preserving the natural resources of the earth has become essential. Using eco-friendly pencils means you are contributing towards a larger benefit of our environment. Some studies found that pencils manufacturing lead to deforestation on large scale and leading to environmental crisis. So we need to reduce and reuse it. So next, paper pencil help to creating awareness and educating people on sustainability. We can teach a kids about the importance of sustainability in developing in future generation that will take care of our future environment using eco-friendly products. Lastly, the process of manufacturing recycled paper 
Paxil is unique and safe. The roll-on method is preferred for wrapping the paper tightly around the crack. The unique concept ensures that the lid of the pencil is not broken even when it is dropped from the height. So I prefer to use the paper pencil rather than wooden pencil. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and also Twitter. Thank you for watching!